Cirque du Soleil is back in Toronto. That's right, it's a Daniel Spara, and tonight we're checking out their most critically acclaimed touring show, Curious Cabinet of Curiosities. Hailed as an enthralling and over-the-top magic show, Curious takes place under the big top at Ontario Place. This is Cirque's first show in Toronto since Allegria ended its run back in December 2019, and we all know what happened after that. Now, I actually did see Alegria as well as many other traveling Cirque shows, but I have to say my two favorites are still in Vegas. The first one being Michael Jackson 1 at Mandalay Bay, which I will have a video for, so make sure you're subscribed so you can check that out when it's released. And uh, my second favorite being Beatles Love, which is at the Mirage. Fun fact, it's actually Curious' second run in Toronto. Uh, it actually opened here first time in 2014 as well as in Montreal. But is this spot right for you? We're actually taking my friend for her birthday, so let's go check it out and make sure you stay till the very end because that's where I give you my final thoughts. Let's get to it. So first of all, I have to apologize for my lack of footage. It just wouldn't be a spot right video without some kind of a technical difficulty. Um, I thought my camera was on when it was off and I thought it was off when it was on. So I do have some great footage of the inside of my pocket. Uh, I also couldn't film inside while the show was going on for the safety of the performers. And the ushers were being quite strict about that. If they caught people doing it, they were going and like talking to them and everything. So yeah, not a whole lot of footage from the inside either. So the show itself. I was actually pleasantly surprised, not because I didn't think it was gonna be good, but just because I find that these traveling cirques, the theme is very, very loose versus the ones in Vegas. For example, Curious Theme is about a late 19th century inventor who invents this machine that defies the laws of space and time and dimension um, and reinvents everything around him with some steampunk elements. Eh? But despite that, it had a good variety of acts. There was always something going on. Even while they're setting up the next performance, somebody would be on stage doing something and uh, there was never a dull moment. You were never bored, let's put it that way. The show is about a two hour runtime, and there's about a 25 minute uh, intermission so you can go to the washroom, get snacks, whatever. The location was really cool. You're at Ontario Place. So you're right by the lake under this temporary big tent. So you almost feel like you're at the circus. And seating wise, there's really no bad seat in the house because the seats are sort of built around the stage. So you never sort of feel like you're off to the side or you're in the wrong area to not be getting the best glimpse of the show. Uh, the way the show is set up, the nature of it and everything, you're always sort of getting a good glimpse of everything that's going on. So that was awesome. Plus, even though the tent is pretty big, it still somehow managed to feel intimate, which was kind of nice. Just be forewarned, if you are planning on driving, we paid $35 for parking. So just keep that in mind if you're sort of debating between driving or public transit or ride share. The concessions are pretty pricey. So I got an eight ounce glass of white wine and it was $20. I got this little bag of popcorn, $10. Cody got this hot dog, which they didn't even give him any condiments and it was $9. I get they gotta make their money back. You know, the last couple of years have been tough on them, um, but uh, a little bit much. So if you are planning on eating and drinking, maybe do it a little bit more so before you go and maybe limit yourself to like one drink when you're there. Um, but just, you know, don't get drunk and belligerent. You don't wanna ruin your own night or anybody else's. <laughs> as for the price, tickets start as low as $70 and range as high as I think even $350, depending on the day and the time, of course, that you choose. 
Now, there are always deals, so make sure you do some Googling. Even Cirque du Soleil's website alone had some offers, so uh, make sure you check that out. But uh, you're always gonna find something on Travel Zoo, Groupon, and some of the other discount uh, channels. So make sure you check those out, save yourself a few bucks. Now, something that kinda disappointed me, um, we had a COVID scare in our group and uh, we reached out to Cirque du Soleil a few days beforehand, seeing if there's any way that we could change our reservations. Um, their policy is no refunds or exchanges, which in normal circumstances I do understand. But given the current climate, the last two years, and the fact that people are being encouraged to stay home if they're not feeling well, I feel like you know we've had to adapt to it, and these organizations should also have to adapt. You know they gotta they gotta understand that if we're trying to do the right thing and stay home and keep everybody safe and healthy, they should help accommodate us by doing by letting us change the reservation date. You know it's not like we were asking for a refund or anything like that. Let's just go another time. Now the reps at Cirque du Soleil did eventually get back to me two days after we went to the show, and they said the following: Cirque du Soleil's ticket policy is that there are no exchanges or refunds. However, in particular situations, we will gladly try to accommodate our clientele. For any changes in the reservation due to security reasons, we kindly ask you to please give us a call as soon as possible so we can help you. Please be advised that there will be a $15 US dollar or Great British Pound exchange fee. If you have any other questions, contact our customer contact center by telephone or by email and one of our agents will assist you with pleasure. Unfortunately, it was a little late on the response. Um, unfortunately for us, we did follow public health guidelines, but to me, that $15 fee is just a little bit tacky. Anyway, despite some of the hiccups and our empty wallets by the end of the night, uh, we actually did still have a really good time. It's really nice just to be out doing things again. It just felt normal. It just felt good to sort of be attending events in Toronto. And, and yeah, we just had a really, really good time. Um, to me, this event could appeal to all ages. It'd be great for like a date night. It'd be great just to go out with a group of friends, even to go out with your family. We saw a lot of families there, definitely family friendly. I, it's just a good event for, I think for all ages really. Now the show did start on April 14th and will run until July 17th 2022 so you've got a few months left to check it out if you found this video helpful at all please consider liking and subscribing um, if you've seen curious what were your thoughts let me know in the comments or what's your favorite Cirque show this has been Daniel Spotlight, and we'll see you in the next one